What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, and you may have seen the movie Kingsman in which the phrase Oxfords, not Brogues, is used as code words for their secret service. Oxfords, not Brogues. Words to live by. This implies that Oxfords are the classier shoe. Technically they are, but there's much more to it than that. And what about derbies anyway? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three different types of men's dress shoes, specifically the difference between the often confused Oxfords, derbies, and brogues. All right, so let's start off with the Oxfords, also known as Balmoral in the United States. And so a whole cut Oxford is going to be the most formal of the three shoes. And as you start adding decorative features, such as a cap toe right here is a cap toe or a brogue then it's going to start to dial down the formality of the shoe and so how is an oxford distinguished well oxfords are a formal shoe as you can see and it's distinguished by this closed lacing system and so what this means is that the two sides of the leather upper that are drawn together by the laces they are sewn under the front part of the shoe otherwise known as the vamp and black oxfords are pretty much the most formal pair of shoes that a man can own besides opera pumps. All right, so on to the brogues. So the term brogue is derived from bro, the Gaelic word for shoe, and brogues are characterized by the unique punching or decorative perforations along the shoe's leather uppers. And so this decorative punching that you see, they are called brogues. And technically, both an Oxford and a Derby can be considered brogues if they have a distinctive broguing along the leather uppers. And also there are different types of brogues. And so this pair right here in this dark chili is a quarter brogue. There's just minimal broguing across the cap toe here. And then you have a semi or half brogue, which introduces a whole lot more broguing along the shoe uppers. And then finally you have a full wingtip, which is also known as a full brogue. And so this is a full on wingtip, and that is distinguished by this winged pattern across the front of the shoe here. And the thing with brogues and full wingtips, this is another wingtip and it, it is a black, but the thing with brogues is that it really can dial down the formality of a shoe, give it a more casual vibe. So this one right here is black leather, and it's also got a rugged sole here. And so broguing really lends itself to more of a casual vibe, but it's still formal. As you can see, this shoe right here is a pretty formal looking shoe, and this one as well, but it can also be worn a little bit more casually. And something that you may not know about brogues is that they were originally added to leather shoes to serve as drains for muddy water. And so that's pretty cool, right? So personally, I love brogues so much so that they come in at number one on my list of shoe essentials for men. So lastly, we've got the Derby and Derby shoes, they're just slightly less formal than their Oxford counterpart. And although most people can't really tell the difference, nor do they care, but Derbies are described as formal shoes with an open lacing system. And so this means that the leather uppers containing the shoelace eyelets are sewn on top of the shoe's vamp and not under, as with Oxford's. And so here's an illustration. Taking a look here, you can see the difference. The Oxford is just a little bit more clean and streamlined compared to the Derby's open lacing system. And so I would say that the Derby is more versatile than the Oxford because it's a little bit more relaxed, yet it's still a formal shoe. And the thing with Derbies is that you can actually pair them with more casual outfits, especially if you have a pair of suede Derbies. And so they can be worn a little bit more dressy and a little bit more casual as compared to a more formal Oxford. And so in a nutshell, Oxford versus Derbies, you know, if there's one illustration that I'd show someone looking to distinguish the two, you know, I'm gonna put that up. So yeah, which of these dress shoe types is for you? Well, you know, I don't think that's the right question to ask as all three can be right for you depending on the situation that you find yourself in. And so my number one element of timeless style is to dress for the occasion. And you know, depending on where you're going and with whom, you know, that's gonna help to determine whether or not an Oxford, a Derby, or a brogue is gonna be most appropriate. So yeah, what is your favorite shoe type to wear? You know, there's a lot going on here. For me, it's either a pair of brogues right here, nice casual wingtip, or 
a casual suede derby. But yeah, on to you. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out new videos like this once a week. And so yeah, that's all I got. Cheers to your style, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.